or discussing to the larger share how to obtain the test statistics of chi-square test of independence okay so we can go to menu low for spreadsheet number eight we can first enter the observed value we have to remember the way we enter if we start with row followed by column then when we enter all the total we have to consider row then followed by column so first 45 44 51 15 27 36 73 53 and 73 now let's move on to column b to enter the row total so the row total will appear for 1 2 and 3 times as you can see 45 44 and 51 three times the total is going to be used to obtain the expected value so one four zero for three times 140 and next 78 also occur for three times next 199 for another three times okay next row total already done then we move on to the column totals so we can see that we have 45 133 44 124 51 160 so we just have to re key in repeatedly for these three numbers 133 then followed by 124 followed by 160 then move on again to 133 124 160 then repeat again 133 124 160 so then okay then we move to the next column so for column d we shall obtain the expected value expected value is obtained by multiplying the column total with the row total then divided by the grand total so we have okay we enter to the option so remember column b and c are the row and the column totals respectively so we have few formula so we will obtain alphabet b one times alphabet c one divided by grand total is already fixed four one seven then equal so we already obtained the respective the respective expected number okay so next we just have to option copy and paste number two so copy then next equal to paste so obtain then paste again move down paste 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 so done already as we can see we will obtain the same value so this is quite convenient by using this function in the calculator okay so next to obtain the test statistic before we can obtain the test statistic the total and we have to compute this so we have to take the observed value minus the expected value give a square divided by the expected value okay so the observed value located at column a then expected 
column D. So we have to remember A and D. So back to option. Okay, before that, remember to escape, exit this function. Okay, so back to option. Fill formula again. One. So this time we will have observe minus expected before we must have bracket. Observe is located at column A. So A1 minus expected C, D. Okay, so expected should located at D because B and C are a row and the column totals respectively. So we have D. 1. Give a square divided by expected. So D again. D1. Okay, then equal. So as we can see, which is the same. Then again, apply the copy paste function option. So we have to copy paste. Copy next, move down, paste, 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 move down. Okay, done. As you can see, the value is exactly the same as what we're supposed to get. Okay, also, I see this formula this function base function okay next what we have to do is total up all the values here okay then we have to confirm from which row to which row okay this is definitely at column e so we should start from e1 to e9 okay option we want to sum. Okay, we just have to press the down function until we find the sum function number four. So we sum from E one colon until E number 9 then we press enter so this will be the test that the state that we should have okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you